travel really far from Switzerland to get to the nomadic people. We took the plane over Moscow, flew into Ulaanbaatar, which is the capital of Mongolia, then had to take another plane. And then take the bus or a Russian car, basically, um, to another city, seven hours away from there. And then from there again the next day, three hours, to finally end up with a nomadic tribe in the middle of nowhere. This is basically four traveling days to get where you start your filming. I've never seen landscapes like I've seen landscapes in Mongolia. It's just within 10 minutes of driving distance from one spot to the next, everything changes completely. You're in the mountains, you drive into a valley, you have beautiful forests, you have wonderful lakes, everything. It's just, it's just incredible the way this place looks. Who wants not? I not here. You are welcome. You are welcome. Mongolian, you know, Mongolian people always go in but Kazakh, higher I have to. I have to practice more. Yes, we have enough time now. We used to be have enough time one week. Yes. <laughs> How are you? Yes, Good, yes. thank you. Yeah. You speak English? No English. No English. Oh, 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 but understand. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. Yeah. Beautiful. Jordan's Kandai Bolta, Jasher Kelly's dear mother in a strap. Thanks, Dara. Jasher Kelly's dear mother, Kandai, Jasher Shadnarma. And this is the eagle. Wow. 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 I had the song finished, the music was there, but I, kn I knew I needed a music video, a film. The approach was, we want to show something that's real that you might have heard of before, as maybe in the case of eagle hunting, you might have seen a documentary about it at some point. Um, but it was so real that you had to question yourself, can that even be real? Eagle hunters in their costumes, traditional costumes with their eagles, that itself was worth coming to Mongolia to see that picture. was the biggest challenge because I didn't know what was going on. You're not really directing, you're kind of like suggesting <laughs> what these people should do while the camera's running. So uh, that definitely is a difficult a difficulty. Yeah. 
The most difficult things for me were standing in between the production crew and the nomadic people and our translator and the drivers and a lot of people involved, even though we're a small crew. That was difficult because of the language. If you couldn't rely on your people here, then you're fucked, basically. So we experienced certain situations, especially towards the end, where it became really difficult because things wouldn't happen the way we wanted it. because you don't have access to anything you don't have with you. You just have to rely on yourself and on the crew. Okay guys, uh, we're standing here in front of a beautiful valley. Actually our camp or our nomad family is living down just at the Hoth River. And we wanted to shoot with a drone here. Which I just broke. <laughs> Holy shit. Quite close to our generator, which also broke down in the middle of nowhere, as you can see in this direction. And the car broke down yesterday. Yes, exactly. For the so third time or something. Third time, yeah. So uh, basically, we are working between breakdowns. <laughs> and uh, but so far, everything's going well. We've had beautiful shots. Uh, we can't complain. This is uh, the risk we're taking, uh, flying over to Mongolia and shooting the best video music video that the world has ever seen. <laughs> Taking risks is part of it. What about the crew? I heard there's some sickness going on. Too. Yeah, the crew, the crew's, um, <laughs> I guess... The, which is us. Which is us, the crew's us. <laughs> I guess morals are high. Uh, the physical condition of certain people is kind of low. The cameraman has been uh. vomiting and shitting all over the place the last two days. My stomach and my body um, had enough of the nomadic lifestyle and traditional meals and dishes, but I survived it. As Christina was lying uh, with a broken back two days ago. I got really sick. I had a lot of pain. I've never had these pains before. So we're a little bit beaten up after five days of traveling and living in the desert. So you might be next or me, I guess. I guess me or Rob are next. Okay, cool. We needed to handle the shooting and the, our health, which is not very easy if you're out in the desert. There's no medical care, nothing. So we, we got really lucky because nobody got too sick that we needed to stop the shoot and, and you know, fly somebody to the hospital. Yeah.
Was gibt's Essen? Wer hat Lust? Kommt! The Meg lifestyle is a... Uh, is basically the Meg lifestyle. <laughs> It's a very simple lifestyle. There's community, there's people. They spend the whole day together, they drink tea, they talk, they laugh. Yeah, it's a very cozy atmosphere. You're always, you're always amongst people, you're never alone. Although you're out way out in the desert, kilometers from any city, you're always very cuddly. You have people around you all the time. So is this the sheep you just killed? No. No, no, no. Oh. This is a, yeah. Oh. I think what uh, impressed me most is that they seem to be at least as happy as we are in our over modern civilized society. <laughs> Be playing? Yes, it is my first time. I, I never played this game. It is very nice and it's very fun for me. I really like to play this game. Thank you guys. It's very nice. <laughs> Winds blast here at speeds I've never seen before. That you have a sandstorm. They have uh, that almost blows you away. Hey, the rap. Toby, Christina, Christina, Christina. <laughs> oh, my learnings are appreciate more what you have and crave for less than you crave for.
Contact uh, for me is almost everything. Whatever we do, whatever we feel, whatever society does to us, we remain human beings. And I think there are certain tendencies in these days where we kind of lose the ground and lose the contact to ourselves, within ourselves. It's not a solution, it's not a, it's not a dogma of how you should be. It's more just, hey look, we all feel the necessity of, of, of to be, to be, to be something that we're not. No matter where you go in the world, you find people that are hospitable, that are friendly and are kind to you. And there are so many places in this world you have to go visit and see. Most important for me is the contact to other people. And for me, that's why living with a nomadic tribe in the Mongolian desert was the most authentic and real experience to to really produce this music video.